Welcome to The Compass for February 16th, 2024. I'm Skylar Prophet. And I'm Dara Tang. Thank you for joining us for the latest news from the Lowell County Center for Innovation. As you may know, CFI will be undergoing a lot of changes next year. This has caused many concerns in the student body, so we decided to ask our principal, Ms. Ray, a few questions that have been on the students' minds. Can you tell us about the changes that will be occurring at CFI next year? Um, sure. Uh, next year we have a few big changes happening. Um, number one, the NJROTC is joining us here to combine both programs from North and South Laurel. Um, we will also have science in our building for the first time, so we'll get to have full use of those science labs. And um, we also have some new programs and pathways coming our way. What pathway changes are being made? Well, first of all, we have one big program area uh, that we're adding, it's teaching and learning. And, um, and then in our pathways, we will be adding graphic design to the media arts program, and we will also be adding HVAC to the IMT program. What science classes will CFI be offering? Uh, CFI will offer the exact same science class as the home high schools, including AP courses. Will the science classes at CFI be different than the ones at the home high school? Nope. The same classes, standards are the same, just a different building. Will having freshmen at CFI for the first time cause more behavior issues to occur? Um, no, I, I think it'll be a very unique group of students. The only freshmen that will be allowed to attend CFI are the ones in the NJROTC program. So um, our teachers are have great rapport with our students, great classroom management here. I don't foresee any issues. How do you feel about all the new changes coming to CFI? I'm excited uh, to breathe some fresh air here. I'm excited uh, to see the building fill up with people. Okay, so the difference between the pathways are the upper level classes. So both classes fall under the umbrella of media arts and we have an introduction to media arts class. So that's the first class. So no matter what pathway you're in, you're gonna end up taking intro to media first. And how that's gonna work out is we're gonna focus a lot on camera use and kind of starting out with a camera uh, during the first semester of intro to media. And then we're gonna split off and do some various video and graphic design projects during the second semester so students can get a feel for which one they enjoy more and then make that decision which pathway they're going to go into. With winter coming to a close and spring quickly closing in on us, Regional for Skills USA has concluded. Many of our many media uh, and industrial students have made the cut for state. And we need your help to get there. How can you help, you may ask? Well, with these ways you can help raise money for our fellow students to get to state. One way to help us is by uh, buying fortune cookies and country meats. With this, you get a tasty treat and we get a little money for state composition. With co uh, cookies for a dollar and meat sticks for one fifty, you can't beat a deal like that. And if you're a big fan of the country meat, you can buy directly online with the QR code on the screen. And with that, more ways to help support us to state are still being approved. So stay tuned and we'll update you as soon as we know more. Recently, the North Lowell High School and Middle School cheer team spent a week down in Orlando to compete in the UCA Cheer Nationals. The middle school team competed for two days in which they made it through semifinals and placed second in the large division at finals. The high school team competed for three days and made it through the first round of semifinals. Both teams did an amazing job. Congratulations! South Laurel High School will be putting on Disney's Descendants for the Spring Musical. Daytime performances are from February 26th to March 1st, with school time soon to be announced. Tickets are $5 per student and sellers are to be decided, but keep an eye out. Night shows will be from February 29th to March 2nd at 7 p.m. Pre-sale tickets will be $5, while door tickets are $10. Contact Mr. Yadin for more information. Come and enjoy this delightfully odd yet campy musical. On February 5th, Ms. Butler's health science class participated in a phlebotomy lab. Students were required to find the vein in the fake arms and draw blood from the medical needles to learn about phlebotomy.
phlebotomy is when someone uses a needle to take blood out of a vein, usually in your arm. This lab gives us practice working with uh, needles and it gives us practice finding veins. Valentine's Day was just a few days ago. Did you have a Valentine? Sadly, I did not, but I wish that I did have some sweet treats. Well, our students on Cooking with CFI can teach you how to make your own. Here's Cooking with CFI teaching you how to make your very own tie-dye chocolate-covered strawberries. Hello, and welcome to Cooking with CFI. Today, we will be making tie-dye chocolate-covered strawberries. First, you will need to melt the chocolate 30 seconds at a time until fully melted. Next, mix in your desired colors of food coloring. Dip your washed and dried strawberries into the colored chocolate. Finally, drizzle over some milk chocolate and enjoy. Now it's time for our community calendar. Baptist Health is set to host and sponsor a heart health screening in collaboration with Janssen Pharmaceuticals. This initiative will offer a mobile peripheral artery disease screening, open to both local and non-local community members. This event marks a celebration of 100 years of heart health with 100 days of service. Mark your calendars for Tuesday, February 20th, as the event unfolds at the Corbin Tri-County Cineplex Cinema Social from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. Take the opportunity to ensure that your heart remains not only happy, but healthy. The London Children's Museum will be having an exciting event where attendees will have the opportunity to create their own tornadoes. The event is scheduled to uh, kick off at 10 a.m. on February 24th, promising a fun and educational experience for all. The program will be free for one child and one accompanying adult. Don't miss out on the fantastic opportunity and hands-on learning and family fun. Get ready for a magical experience at the Laurel County Public Library. Once Upon an Orchestra is set to bring stories to life with a symphony of fun courtesy to the Louisville Orchestra. This enchanting event will take place on February 27th from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Immerse yourself in this captivating storytelling experience and let the power of music and narrative transport you into a world of wonder. Don't miss out on this extraordinary event. That's all we have for you on this edition of The Compass. Thank you so much for joining us. Please like this video and subscribe to the CFI YouTube channel to keep up with the latest news from CFI. Our next episode is coming up in March. We, we hope, hope to, to see, see you on, on the, the next, next episode, episode of The, of the Compass. Compass.